I'm really not sure if Mary ever consents to the path of her life. I'm not sure if she really says yes to Gabriel, the angel, or if her yes is a valid yes. Because what other option do you have when a divine being shows up in your living room other than to say, sure? A question is a question only if all answers are valid. And we use Mary's story to excuse seemingly unexpected activity. Been laid off? Had an ugly breakup? Have you been evicted from your home? Don't worry. God once changed Mary's life and she didn't like it, but now she's the mother Mary. That might not preach well on Sunday morning, but if we're committed to the lives and well-being of girls, we better figure that out by Monday.